and back, Sam. Oh, too early to call you that? Dunno. Anyway, nice work disabling the force field. Meant I could use the Cybermen's transmat to get on board and materialise around you. I should have mentioned that part of the plan. Sorry. Short on time. Did you get anywhere with the Siberian? I did. The Cybermen have upgraded the first reality virus. Why would they want the chaos that will bring? I thought the Cybermen were all about logic and order. Yeah, at any cost. They believe the chaos their virus unleashes will make planets super vulnerable to mass cyber invasion. Okay, so they're betting that societies right across the galaxies will be in no state to resist their armies. It's more than that. They think that with reality unraveling, people will actually want to be... upgraded. That entire species will welcome cyber conversion to help restore universal order. They're not short on confidence, are they? Which may prove costly for them. Their version of the reality virus is more powerful than the first. But that's because it's not organic. It needs a power source. So we just need to find it and destroy it? Them. There are three transmitters hidden in three different locations. We need to find them all. We disable those transmitters and this whole nightmare ends. Okay, we're about to emerge from the time vortex. Let's see what's left of the universe. Looks like Mars, 22nd century. Something's off, though. Cybermen, Daleks, Weeping Angels, Tasma, Cybermats, the first, and the Cyber Reaper. You didn't think I was gonna sit this one out, did you? Seriously? Allons-y! Oh, looks like the Doctor knows where he's going. Keep up. Don't forget, we need to track down and destroy the force field units so the Doctor can get the TARDIS here. a minute ago. around fragments of the first. That must be one of the reality virus transmitters. Looks like the Doctor needs a hand. Help the Doctor deactivate that transmitter. Wow. The time-space continuum packs quite a punch. We've been catapulted into another weak spot in reality. The next transmitter must be near. Allons-y! Right behind you, Doctor. That sculpture isn't native to Mars. Us. 
Doctor, we're on our own now. is passing pretty close. Hitch a ride. Up above. See if you can get on that chunk of pillar. breaking down. Great! My vertigo is kicking in. Big time. Steady. Some of these objects are unstable. Watch your footing. Yeah. 
Well, this is just weird. And after everything we've been through, that means weird is bringing its A game. This is making my brain itch. Yes, the doctor's here. Don't try anything, or it will kill you. The Cyber Reaper. At last. The ultimate warrior. Pitiless. Relentless. Devastating. Not as tall as you look on telly. Go on, then. Let's have it. The bit where you lay it on thick with a bit of cyber gloating. You know, it's weird. For a race that's got no emotion, it feels like you lot love rubbing it in when you think you've got the upper hand. All that you-will-be-deleted stuff. Why don't you ever just crack on with it? We understand the value of fear. To humans? To Cybermen. After all these years, after all these battles, after all these defeats, for you, that is, not me, you still don't get it. Emotions aren't how we live, they're why we live. After all these years, after all these battles, after all the losses of loved ones. For you, not us. You do not understand. Understand what? Your lack of emotion is your greatest strength, Doctor. That single fact is why I recognized the value of upgrading. To what? To you. No. You are the ultimate warrior. Pitiless. Relentless. Devastating. Is that what you think? You reconfigure your friends, strip away their safety, and harvest their strengths. You upgrade them to soldiers. You have one goal victory and your reluctance to acknowledge the rights of your enemies is is what exactly logical you will break the transmitter to destroy our virus yeah natural reality will snap back into place and order will be restored job done you would eradicate the new realities created by the virus where are you going with this you must choose victory or kindness. You must decide whether you have a warrior's heart. Or? A compassionate heart. In one reality, you encountered a human known as Renette. Madame de Pompadour. Yes. You felt love for this human. Love is not a weakness. And you lost her. But in this new reality, he stayed with her. They developed a family unit. 
They are kids. You are the ultimate warrior. Pitiless. Relentless. Devastating. Stop it. Stop this. Taking two minutes to lash up a video recorder out of an astrolab and some psychic paper. Ooh. You're losing your touch, Doctor. Doctor, huh. No one's called me the Doctor for years. And that's fine, I used to love it though. Swaggering in somewhere, I'm the Doctor. This is Romana, Susan. Jamie or Sarah. Or Adric. Yeah. Not all good memories. Sometimes, when I'm sitting with your mum, she asks me, where have you gone? And it'll be Scarra, or Gallifrey, Unit HQ. But I just shrug and say, you know where? Uh, I was just thinking about her. Because I know she feels guilty. Even though I've told her a million times that this little house with you lot in it means more to me than everything out there put together. Our home. He's so much bigger on the inside. Hmm? Anyway, I am leaving you this message in case anything happens to me. I want you to look after your mum. When you're old enough, she'll tell you stories of scary clockwork monsters who came to get her. The fireplace that could take you to the stars. Before it broke. And a man from another world who rode to her rescue on a big white horse. Yeah, maybe she'll share the stories that I told her. About people made of steel and cities made of song. She still thinks I regret losing all that, but she's so wrong. The truth is, I thought when I settled down with her that I was giving up the universe, but I was wrong. She was giving me the world. Don't let her forget that. Mm -hmm. She took her lonely angel and made him better. Maybe she should be called the Doctor. Let's face it, like I said, no one's called me the Doctor for years, and that's fine, because I prefer dad these days. Anyway. I've seen enough. In this reality, 
the Doctor and his family live tiny lives. They are made happy by acts of irrelevance. You are on record as claiming, but for some people, small, beautiful events are what life is all about. You would destroy that, Doctor, for your victory. The Cyber Reaper. All these years, I've thought you had one purpose, to destroy the enemies of the Cybermen. But that's not quite it. Your one mission is to find those enemies. And nullify their threat. And you've done it. I can't make this choice. So you've got to. You're the Doctor now. Let's end this. It all depends on you now. One last transmitter. Run for it. You will be deleted. I just wanted to thank you for, you know, saving the universe. After you zapped the final transmitter, the virus was destroyed and reality reasserted itself. For better or for worse. Hey, you're probably wondering where Emma is. Emma, can you hear us okay? Loud and clear, Doctor. Loving your old TARDIS. What is it with you and hexagonal decorations? How's the new body? Amazing. Give us a tick. I kept my word. Downloaded Emma into a synthetic body so she can move about. Feel, taste, take part, do all the things we sometimes take for granted. Only problem was, after all the adventures she had gallivanting about with you, she wanted more of the same. So I took a few temple liberties and sent her back in time. Yeah, she's gonna go travelling with someone I think you know. Actually, he can tell you himself. Left a message. I'll patch it through. Hello? Just wanted to say thanks. I understand you had a very difficult decision to make and you didn't shirk it. Good word, shirk. Come on, Doctor. Her ladyship won't tell me what the decision was about, but maybe I can guess. Hard sometimes, isn't it? Get a move on. Emma told me she's gonna share some information, though, that I can pass on to you in the laundrette or something. Anyway, better get going. Emma wants to find out what it's like to live, so... I promised I'd show around the universe. And you know what? I really want to go. We've wandered. The TARDIS has brought us home. Recognize this place? Go on. Take a look. A million years from now, or was it last week? Reality itself was almost destroyed. It was saved by a hero, a mysterious traveler in time and space. Yeah, it was saved by you.